So we're going to get into light painting now. And that one that you can see there was done during Connect 2018, I think. Yes, 2018. And a couple of people came and helped me to do that. One person was helping me stay in the right line. And I'm just looking for my battery pack, which I can't, there it is, can't find. Um, one one person was helping me stay in a straight line walking along next to me so I didn't fall into the water and the um, other person was standing with my camera because uh, while San Francisco is a really cool city, don't leave your camera by itself. It's uh, one of those interesting places. So this thing, which I imagine you can sort of see, this is the tool I use for doing great big painting like that one. So it's actually the wheel off a wheelchair believe it or not i got this one because it's made of plastic which means i can take it on planes um, and it when it powers up it gets lots of cool colors so it's it just pulses through the colors so that that's how the colored writing happens and basically you just move it during a long exposure so you can write letters so you can do an L or a G. Now, the really interesting thing about using this, and I'll just sit here with creepy lights under my face now, the really interesting thing about writing in these long exposures is you have to do it backwards. You have to do the letters backwards because if you don't, um, they'll come out backwards on your image. Of course, you can fix that in post if you want to, but if you want the background to be the right way around, then you need to learn how to write backwards. It's not that hard, to be honest. What's hard is getting the spacing right. So on that one, I was a little bit crowded in because I had so many letters to get in into that short little space that I had, so I had to crowd it up a bit. Now, there's other light painting things that you can use as well. I might come back to that one in a moment. So this one is, it's actually one of those poi that I showed you before running in its flame mode. So it's like a candle when it's running in flame mode. Um, it looks like there's a whole lot of things turning up in the chat. I'll just check and see if there's any questions. Uh, one person wanted to know, Anya, was that your name on the wall? Uh, yes, that was, that, it's not. I did ask Anya about that. It wasn't her name specifically. She <laughs> just found it and used it. You should tell people it is your name. Who's going to know? Yes, I, I, I wrote down the answer yeah, that Anya is the most popular name in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't really like this fact, but uh, that's why I could find my own mural. mural. <laughs> yeah. yeah, But it wasn't created for me. It's, it's plenty of Anyas in Poland. Yeah. Well, you can just be the only one. <laughs> yeah. So if we look at the, the light painting thing, this one with the uh, poi in its flame mode, um, I don't know if anybody's heard of a labyrinth or not, but a labyrinth is a little bit like a maze, but not quite. You walk in on a path and you go all the way around the labyrinth and until you get to the end and the path never overlaps. There's only one way in and you have to walk all the way in and then walk all the way out. It's the only way to do it. And it came out kind of nice on this one when I did it at night time. So this next one, I am definitely not going to demonstrate to you inside because I would set fire to my house. On that particular night, I almost set fire to my kid. Um, <laughs> that's steel wool. So it's that same stuff that you scrub your pots and pans with, but it's a lot of it. That particular one there is about a kilo of steel wool and you form it into a ball. You need to secure it into something. Um, I use kitchen whisks for when I'm doing it. And you basically spin it around over your head and the sparks and the gobs of steel fly absolutely everywhere. Um, that one is on top of, ironically, a fire tower. <laughs> so it came out really cool. Um, I've just got a question from Devonish there. There's a couple of others he's asking if i used any filter because it took me a while to write all those letters and the image is not blown out now that's an awesome question devonish and i'm going to show you something in a moment and i'm sure this will give an a little grin um 
I'm going to show you why DSLR cameras suck and why you should get a mirrorless camera because only mirrorless cameras can do what I'm about to show you. So yes, that is a it's a good segue into what I'm going to do in a couple of minutes. This next one is um, fire again, but it's a different kind of fire. So it's the same kind of poi as these, except that instead of being a little light up blob like these ones are, so I, I don't know if you can actually see in there, but there's a, a battery and a light in there. So these ones, the, the ones I used here actually burn. So you um, put a, a chemical solvent, a flammable, flammable solvent. Um, some people use kerosene. The solvent's downside is it's carcinogenic. Kerosene's downside is that it will kill you with carbon monoxide. So, you know, you can have one or the other. You choose cancer or you choose not being able to breathe. That's okay. Um, fire is really cool to play with, but you need to be a little bit careful with it. I still have a beard, but I almost lost it one night. I lost, uh, which side is it? It's this side. Um, on this side, my beard's actually thinner than this side, and it has been ever since the night that I hit myself with a fire boy. Such is life, huh? The things you do for art. So you'll have to bear with me in a moment. I'm just going to stop this presentation, and I've got to fire up another screen, and I really, really, really hope this actually works so let me just put this meet up onto my other screen because the only way i can make this work is to share the whole screen because this software is shit. but that's okay so i'm just going to stop presenting and i'm going to share another screen now and i have to share my entire screen hopefully i get this right so I'm now sharing the software that can control this camera and I've just got to get the camera into the right sort of mode to do what I want to do. Where's the button? There it is. Okay. Now we just wait while Windows figures this thing out. Yay! It worked. So what I'm going to do is just show you a couple of simple things. I'll start with the, the big wheel. Now, I'm not going to do anything fancy because, like I said, I don't have much room here. And I'm not going to be able to talk while I'm doing this because my microphone won't reach that far. So I'm just going to kill this light. Now, before I do it, let's do the setup shot. So when it's running, you can see here it's called composite. This is a particular feature of Olympus cameras called live composite and you set up an initial base shot which takes the first image now i've actually set up the configuration for this so that this image will come out pretty dark and i'll just kill this light because i don't really want the things in the background in this shot but it's taken the first shot now and you'll notice that down here it's saying it's ready for a composite start so it's still exposing you can see my hand there but it's not changing the image yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on composite shooting and this is where mirrorless comes in and you can see that there's a little bit of change happening there because I just moved away from the monitor. Now I'm just going to take this off and I've got to take the microphone off now and stop talking and I'll just go and draw with this big coloured wheel. So I'll just, I'll just stop that one now. So you can see that little image that turned up down there. And I'm just going to kick off another one because I'm going to try and do something a little bit silly. So let's just see how this works. So that just sort of gives you just a little bit of an idea of some of the stuff that you can do. So I'll just stop that one now. Um, hopefully you guys can all see that screen happening there. And I'm going to do one more. And I don't know how well this is going to work inside, but what I'm going to try and do 
um, is create a ball, a ball of light. Now I'm only going to use the poi, so let's see how this goes. Could be good, or it could be crap. <laughs> Well, that one came out kind of crap because I hit the cupboard halfway through. <laughs> I had the string a bit too long. So let's just let's just try that one more time and see if I can get it right this time. So I'm just going to start the composite shot. That one worked much better. It's still not exactly a perfect ball, but that's because we're not outside. So I'll just.